hello friend this video is not uh, related to my tools this is actually related to that uh, question which is being asked to you guys each and every day or if it has not been asked to yet then it will be asked to you in future for sure should we use the ai based automation tool or shall we continue writing our own automation and if we are going to write our own script then why if we are going to choose any automation ai based automation tool then which tool should we use why should we use and while doing the poc of that tool what question you should be asking to that testing tool company so basically in through this tutorial i will try to help you guys to understand and make you guys be able to handle such kind of situation where whenever you will be so that you can do the poc on the best automation tool and you will be having some kind of experience that yes you have done the poc by your own once in this kind of tool you know a few things because most of us have never ever tried such kind of ai based automation tool and we used to keep writing the selenium cypress or playwright or different kinds of uh, using different kinds of li automation libraries we used to keep writing our automation script and keep doing the practice but we all know somewhere that yes future is going to be like based on ai though these everything will be there whatever we are doing today even but yes of course there will be some more percentage of such kind of automation tools and ai based tools so let's see like uh, what kind of question so first of all like this is always there that have you ever uh, used any ai based automation tool or not so i will highly recommend you guys that at least do give a shot give a try to these kind of ai based automation tool i will give you some uh, tool link as well and tools as well where you can do the practice free trial take a free things and do some poc so that like you will be having an idea that what all things are possible and then when you will be like let's say you are going to take a free trial of them and you are having a poc demo with their team then what kind of what sorts of question you should be asking so that like uh, if your management comes to you and ask to you that uh, which automation tool should we prefer or what kind of uh, poc you have done on those and then they will be for sure your management will be asking those question to you and then you will be asking those question to that testing tool company so here are some of the questions like let's say you are having a uh, demo of a testing uh, ai based automation tool so then here i have prepared a list of questions which you should be asking to that team like let me just zoom in okay so uh, let me just open the tool uh, some tool first and then uh, we'll come to here like the very famous one the most uh, widely known product is like tosca the one from tricentis so if you see that uh, like let's say you want to take a demo of this tool so you can i will highly recommend you guys to take the demo of this one take a free trial of this give it a try see how things work how these uh, automation tool try to automate your uh, script and then everything in and out so that you will be having a wider picture of an automation tool and if you are not going to in fact like use this tool you will be having a much more visibility a lot more ideas which you can implement in your in house automation framework as well and another one which i will recommend that you guys can give it a shot take a free trial of test rigor which is also very much evolving and in fact they have this generative ai based automation tool where you just write one sentence and it will all generate lots of test cases automatically and then generate the automation script so lot more things are there basically that uh, i leave it up to you guys like what you want to try how you want to explore so that you do and here are the questions like let's say you have registered for these tools and then you are taking a demo from their team and then you want to understand this thing for your learning perspective in your career so the very first question which you should be asking to them like how does your ai based web automation tool works or like how it is going to handle the like let's say whenever there is a ui change happen how it is going to do the auto healing of selectors xpath how it is going to handle like let's say i frames are there how like if there is a table so you should be asking in and out like all the complex scenarios which you have been keep writing uh like 
in your automation framework or any scenario which you feel that that should be covered in the automation tool will it be able to handle or not and then ask like try to understand in detail how their tool in and out works basically so that you should be asking to that team from whom server you are going to take the demo and this will help you in your career because uh, as you grow in your career you will have to have to evaluate tools you will have to uh, understand lots of tools which is going to be helpful for your team for you, uh, your company for you as well like when you will be working as a like uh, on ground and then if you will be on the management side or if you are a manager then you also have to evaluate tools which will be good for your team then what are uh, what are the key features and capabilities of your tool like let's say uh, every tool comes with some specific feature because lots of automation tools are there if all are same then we can go with any one of them right so definitely there is some speciality in each and every tool like our tool can do this as well so you should be always asking to that uh, tool company or that tool uh, people that what is your unique selling point kind of thing that what is that unique feature what are the like best features in your uh, tool so that like we should be using it right this will help like this question will help you to get a broad overview of what the tool can do how that tool can help to automate all of your scenarios uh, like whichever is required scenarios to be automated for your uh, requirement for your company then definitely ask them to demonstrate the user interface and the workflow of their tool like uh, why this button is there how this like what is the flow of uh, using that tool like from where you start where you will be doing this and that like how you can where you can see the report from where you can uh, like run the script from where you can generate the scripts all sorts of things you should be knowing like you should be aware and like these three points if you will be able to learn from their tool and you will be like having some idea from that even if you will not go with that their tool you will be able to understand and you will be able to get some really good ideas which you can implement in your own framework as well then definitely like this question always should be asked the fourth one what programming or script scripting skills are required to use your tool effectively because uh, definitely like each and every tool comes with certain limitations so definitely ask that what are those limitations like uh, which programming language it will be supporting what programming language what scripting language we should be knowing so that like we will be able to use your tool because uh, otherwise it will be difficult that you have uh, taken any tool or you are using any tool and you don't know you are not expert in that then it will be difficult for you so generally we always look for those kind of tools which are helpful which are easy to use and anybody can use even without any programming language as well so as much as programming skills will be required as less as uh, maintenance it will be required that tool is always goes on plus side because there might be a chance that some tools might require some kind of coding knowledge as well and uh, like other stuff like xpath writing selectors writing so it becomes a, an if and end condition you have to add so make sure that it requires minimal uh, expertise to use that tool like it shouldn't be like one more programming language you will have to learn for that particular tool or something like that or depends on your requirement that if you can uh, accommodate that if you can afford that then it's fine up to your requirement how does your handle how does your tool handle the dynamic and interactive web application because nowadays like lots of uh, e-commerce website lots of uh, different kinds of websites are there which used to be like very dynamic because in this era you see that uh, how fast we are moving every day our ui used to keep changing so will that tool be able to handle such kind of dynamic web application where ui used to change very frequently so you should be definitely definitely asking such question because web elements selectors xpath use you uh, i mean change very fast very dynamic for such kind of application so definitely keep that question in your mind what level of customization and, and extensibility does your tools provide so definitely you should be knowing and you should be having that this question in your mind while taking the doing the poc of such tool that uh, what kind of customizations are possible with your tool 
so that like you will be knowing that oh this all possibilities are there and again like in each and every question there is something like that suppose you got to know from their tool you learn from their tool then definitely you can also implement on your own tool or own framework as well can your tool interact with different types of web elements definitely like initially we discussed that it should be able to interact with the iframe shadow dom dynamic web element and uh, different kinds of forms button tables etc and it should be able to handle like uh, drop down bubble loader dynamic spin loaders lots of things are there so it should be basically able to handle all such complex scenarios it shouldn't be like in any situation that oh this cannot be handled then it will be pain like you will not be able to automate those kind of scenarios through the tool then point eight is like question number eight how does your tool handle authentication and security feature on website so generally like most of the uh, when you will be working real-time enterprise applications testing then definitely you will see that they always required some kind of authentication or login functionality will be there so you should be asking them like there could be a chance that captcha is there or OTP thing is there so that should be that questions also uh, be ready with such kind of questions for that team to answer what kind of AI and machine learning technology are integrated into their tool like let's say uh, you have uh, because that is definitely like AI based automation tool so you should be asking this question that what sorts of things are already implemented how AI is implemented in their tool and how in uh, like with the help of AI what all things it is going to handle while doing the automation for your tool does your tool provide error handling and debugging capabilities definitely always like this is the question which we always should ask irrespective of this like AI based uh, automation tool or any tool we should be asking this that whether it is it will be able to handle the error handling and debugging capabilities it has or not can your tool integrate with other software or APIs this question we should 100% you should ask this like because you must be using lots of uh, for CI CD pipeline like Jenkins and etc like will it be integrated to Jira Jenkins or any sorts of things like it yeah, I'm just say saying but yes definitely it should be uh, like you should be asking and you should be knowing that with which all tools it can be integrated because whenever there will be a script executing you should uh, you will definitely want the notification you will definitely want some kinds of report over email you will definitely need the uh, like uh, sometimes lots of people used to do the slack uh, integration where notification automatically comes whenever there's a fail or report etc so that should be there what support and training resources are available for users so any tool becomes like a lot more easier to use when there are lots of uh, video tutorial training and support live support is there because if at any point of time you got stuck then how you will be able to get the support so definitely ask for this as well and then uh, of course like you should be having an idea about their pricing model so you should definitely ask this question like once you are satisfied with the features and everything and then you uh, ask like can you provide case studies or success stories of organization that have benefited from their tool so uh, like some kind of scenarios they will definitely they must be having that uh, where their tool got success and because of that particular scenarios their tool is so famous in the market that most uh, like so many people are using so you should be asking those kind of things as well because that will give you a confidence oh these people are using such scenarios has been helping them so then in that case you will be able to uh, like uh, judge their tool as well and what kind of ongoing maintenance and updates can user expect so this you should always ask because it is not like you are taking a software today or any tool and then uh, like in the future you don't know like uh, whether maintenance will be there whether they will be providing the support where what new features are going to come whether there will be there will be regular updates and what if like if any feature is breaking and if, if you required any new feature will you, will they implement or not so that question also make sure that you ask this kind of question do you offer a trial or evaluation period of your tool so yes definitely you can ask this like for uh, I mean already I have given you guys these uh, two links I will leave in the description you can uh, take the free trial of these tools try to explore these AI based automation tool because definitely definitely there is going to be a future for these tools and we are evolving towards this AI based era so 
we all should be i mean irrespective of whether we will be using them or not we should be having the idea that how these tools are going to be implemented how they have implemented all these automation features why so many people are using in industry why they are so famous and uh, why people are paying so much for them definitely people will be getting uh, people are getting the roi from them and then uh, 100% sure that they are helping people in many cases saving some time that's where people are investing huge amount of money on these tools so we should be having an idea we as an as debt as a manager as a lead in the future we should be able to answer such kind of question we should be able to knowing that we should be knowing this what kind of question you should be asking whenever your management will ask you that which automation tool should we use should we remain with our own automation framework or should we go for these kind of ai automation ai based automation tool so when you will get answer for these questions from such tools company then you will be having more question about your automation framework as well as you will be having answer for your own automation framework and for these tools to compare that why your in house automation framework is better from these tools or if it is not better then should you go for these ai based automation tool or not you we all should be having having this knowledge trust me guys if you will have this knowledge you will be like lot more confident and then you will not be asking such kind of question here and there on social media always because it uh, like everywhere everywhere such qu questions are being asked to me a lot these days that should we use uh, like which automation tool we should use should we go for this kind of ai automation tool or not what question should we ask so that's where i thought to prepare this video and um, here i will leave these links for you guys to so that you can get the free trial so uh, you can take the free trial from these links in the description link i have leave uh, i will leave in the description so take the free trial from these links and learn all about these things these questions explore these tool see how these are implement these being implemented these being developed so that you will be having a lot more better idea that how these ai based automation tool works and what all things you can implement in your in house automation framework i hope this tutorial you find useful and it will help you guys to uh, learn something new out of like always i used to talk about xpath and selectors and selectors up tool so that's where i thought to like uh, what all questions has been asked to me uh, in so many meetups and always on linkedin people used to ask such questions so that's where i thought to prepare this video i hope you guys will find it useful and if you find it useful do share it with others and uh, these questions list also i will share in the description i will uh, add the link for these this doc in the description so you can check it out thank you thank you so much